Today on Mayhem in the Desert, we'll look at whether the identity of a body found in a barrel at Lake Mead has finally been discovered, and whether notorious mobster Tony the Ant Spilatro was involved in the murder. A gruesome discovery was made by visitors to Lake Mead on May 1, 2022. Inside of a corroded 55-gallon steel barrel lodged in the mud near Hemingway Harbor were the decomposed remains of an unidentified man. Homicide detectives determined that the body in the barrel had died of a gunshot wound to the head, and that the death occurred sometime in the mid-70s to early 80s, since the victim's clothing was widely sold at Las Vegas-area Kmarts at that time. For months, the investigation into the murder, with all the hallmarks of a gangland slaying, quietly proceeded without much new public information. Then news broke that investigators may have a name to put with the body in the barrel. Bobby Eugene Shaw. Bobby Shaw was a resident of Southern California and allegedly made his living as a burglar. This illicit trade apparently brought Shaw into the orbit of infamous mobster and enforcer for the Chicago outfit, Tony Spilatro. Spilatro, nicknamed the Ant was sent to Las Vegas in 1971 by the Chicago outfit to protect the Mafia's significant investment in several strip casinos. Described in contemporary press accounts as one of the coldest, cruelest mobsters in America, Spilatro was believed responsible for dozens of murders during his career in organized crime. Among Tony Spilatro's illicit enterprises in Las Vegas was running a store called The Gold Rush, a jewelry shop the mobster used to traffic in stolen goods. It was in this capacity that the budding thief, Bobby Shaw, may have come into contact with Spilatro. Spilatro's influence even reached into Southern California at this time, where mobster Joey Hansen acted as the ant's top lieutenant in the Golden State. Hansen was known to have carried out several hits in California during the 1970s on Spilatro's orders and some sources have speculated that Hansen was the person that introduced Spilatro to Bobby Shaw. Bobby Shaw was last seen alive by his sister on May 14, 1977. On that day, Shaw and a friend left Fontana, California to make the short drive to Las Vegas. Shaw was never heard from again and was officially listed as a missing person. Then, in August of 2022, Bobby Shaw's sister, Barbara Brock, was contacted by Las Vegas police to collect a DNA sample to compare to the remains found in the barrel at Lake Mead. Brock told reporters, Bob went missing, I believe, in 1977, and of course, all these years, we have wondered where he is at. She went on to say, when they found the first body in the barrel, I just knew it was him. Even more interesting, On May 4th, 2022, a post was made on the popular true crime site Web Sleuths about Bobby Shaw's disappearance, only a few days after an unidentified body in a barrel was discovered at Lake Mead. Perhaps the poster knew something more than the rest of us about the body in the barrel, since it was months before authorities would release information to the public about their potential lead. The description of the body and timing of the murder leave open the very real possibility that the body in the Lake Mead barrel is that of Bobby Shaw. And if that proves to be the case, then there is also the very real possibility that Shaw ended up at the bottom of the lake because he crossed Tony the Ian Spilatro. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Mayhem in the Desert. If you want to find out more about the true crime history of Las Vegas, be sure to subscribe to our channel or visit our website at mayheminthedesert.com to read in-depth true crime stories about Sin City. And remember to be careful. It's a big desert out there.